Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. My previous Spider-Man video, I felt like I was too close. Um, I couldn't find a close angle to show you just how, like, the, the full potential of the screen. Because when you have 200 inches, it's really difficult to find a good angle to capture uh, the image. So what I decided to do, I decided, hey, let me make another video where I can show you, like all the way I'm like so far out dude I'm in a corner like I'm way out in the corner in the room to show you just the, the how gigantic uh, this 200 inch really is some people say go all the way to 300 I said are you ridiculous man that's an overkill 200 even 200 inches it's uh, it's overkill but anyway speaking of overkill I hope you guys appreciate this viewing angle, so let's start. I adjusted my uh, exposure, so that way you guys can see a little bit better. Oh yeah, dude, this is definitely hell of a lot better. Man, this is like the only way I can play Spider-Man now. Dude, I'm never going to go back to playing Spider-Man any other way than this. This is just the way to... This is like you're inside the game, dude. No, really. It feels as if you are inside the game. And you're going to appreciate the graphics you will appreciate the graphics better like this here we go check that out let's go climb this up hold on let's go hold on I need to go up to that to the peak tower of the church here we go look at this man it just looks amazing I don't know how else to describe it to you guys somebody said to me oh is this like having an orgasm well I guess if that's the way you want to look at it, it could be a visual orgasm I guess but you will not if you will not experience a visual orgasm by watching this video you will experience it if you connect your PlayStation 4 Pro to a 200 inch projector 4k HDR projector and then you get to see it in person remember when it comes to VR when it comes to projectors you have to see it in person same thing with the OLED you have to see it in person I mean I can make gazillions of videos but until you see it in person uh, you really don't know <laughs> You don't know how awesome this is, man. I, I do. I cannot describe it to you. It, there's no words to describe how this looks, man. I think everybody should. It's mandatory that everyone plays Amazing Spider-Man on 200-inch projector. Seriously, buy a projector just for this game. I'm, I'm serious. Buy a projector just for this game. Okay. Dr. 4K orders. <laughs> it's bananas, man. This shit is just pure bananas. Can I do a slow motion here? Hold on. I think I could. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Woo Whoa. Whoa. Boom. You guys enjoying the shit out of this, eh? <laughs>
Nicely landed, huh? Well, no uh, latency, no input lag. I even played um, Modern Warfare. Didn't have any issues, even with Modern Warfare. Everything looks great. <laughs> this game is just bananas. I can't wait to see the PlayStation 5 version of this game. And God, I can't wait to see a uh, sequel. Imagine the sequel for Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, with PlayStation 5 graphics. Oh, oh, oh my God. I really don't know. I really don't know what uh, what Xbox can bring to the table. <laughs> but listen, let's be honest. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Playing a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on a projector. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Let's go to the uh, Empire State Building. That's so symbolic, dude. I want to go there. I want to go to the Empire State Building. Come on, you can make it. Let's go. I want to reach up. I want to reach out and touch the sky. Here we go. That's it. Oh yeah, there are people there watching. That's so realistic, dude. Because when you go up to the Empire State Building, they do have people watching the city. Uh, they did a great job, man, representing the New York City here, man, for sure. Let's go. Let's go up to the top. Come on. There you go. That's it. You did it. Empire State Building. This game is just bananas. Pure bananas. And then some. Yes, uh, I guess you can call it a visual orgasm. You can do the same thing with the avatar. Playing an avatar at 200 inches with a 3D. Oh yeah, you're definitely going to have a full-blown uh, triple orgasm. <laughs> Visual triple orgasm. Oh, this looks amazing, dude. Simply amazing. And the stuff that you see, the detail that you see, the amount of effort it took. That's why it took such a long time to bring this game. The effort that you see that was put into this game, you can only appreciate that with a giant screen. Why is it that 8.3 million pixels, even if it's upscaled or checkerboard, looks better on a bigger screen? Because you're giving those pixels enough room to breathe and therefore... You can appreciate the level of detail that Insomniac Games... Was it Insomniac? Yeah, Insomniac Games has uh, implemented here on 
this game. And it just looks bananas, man. It just looks beautiful. We'll keep it right here. This is a great thumbnail. This is going to be my thumbnail for the video. Well, there you have it. That's my second video I wanted to do for you guys. I hope this uh, gives you some better idea. Listen, guys, I know that there's uh, the grid racing uh, that, that, you know, but I just couldn't do it today. I had too many things to do. I just couldn't join in. I know that you guys are having that uh, competitive race on the Google Stadia grid. It's just I couldn't do it today. Guys, I have so many things to do, including those videos that I had to do. You remember, I do this by myself. It's not like I have people working for me and doing all this for me. This is, I got to do this myself. And uh, sometimes you just don't have enough time, man. Just believe me, I don't have time, guys. It might seem to you watching all these videos like I have time. No, this is work, man. I'm, I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing this for me. I know how this looks in, on 200 inches. I'm looking at it. I'm doing it for you to show you as to why maybe you need to get a, get yourself a projector and why should you go up to 200 inches or maybe even 300 inches and you don't have to spend $1,500 to buy yourself a 300 inch projector you can go with something cheaper for $250 you're still gonna have a uh, same experience okay so that's why I make these videos I'm not making these videos for me I know what I see I don't need to I, I don't need to justify stuff for me I know how it looks okay I, I know how all these products looks and what they can do and what their limitations are and whatnot I do this for you guys I share this with you okay so well there you have it I hope you enjoy it thank you cheers have a good one though take care